Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, welcome to English uh, 2, uh, uh, Medical College University of Tripoli. Uh, I'm really happy to have you again with me in English 2 this semester. And inshallah, we are going to have uh, a nice work together to develop your language skills in addition to the, we say, medical language uh, skills and of course uh, related uh, issues related to English medical language. Today we are going to start with unit one uh, but before we start inshallah I have some rules and regulations uh, to tell you about this semester. This semester is different from the one we, we had, uh, the one we did last time and in this semester inshallah we are going to cover the whole book. So we have 15 units, as you can see in the front of you. We are going to uh, discover, uh, and uh, sorry, to cover all the units from unit one, blood, to, to the glossary. So today I'm going uh, to show you that uh, we have to, uh, the things we are going to follow on this semester, and then how this material is going to be covered in the exam. We have two things, two things for this semester. We have the course book in the front of you, as you can see here, the course book, the, uh, we have 15 units and we have the uh, grammar book and I'm going to cover inshallah the topics with you. I'll show you what, uh, which topics we need. For grammar, this is the grammar book, and uh, inshallah, I'll put it uh, on my, uh, uh, the, on Telegram. My channel on Telegram is IELTS with Shaban. This is my channel on Telegram. So you can have IELTS with Shaban. So you can have the book, yeah, this book, the grammar book. So we have the grammar book. And you have also the English book, the medical book. It is E122, book number two. So you can have it from the Telegram, go to Telegram, and you can download both of the books. Of course, the grammar, I'm not going to cover all the grammar units, and we are going to cover some of the units, not all of them, because this book is a very huge book, is a, a, a very big one. It is more than, it, it's about 350 pages. So I'm not going to cover 300 pages. We are going to cover maybe 10 topics, 10, uh, uh, 15 topics, and uh, to, to encourage you and to develop your language. This course, we are going to deal with the medical issues as a language. What does that mean? We have uh, the book. This is the book. Let me open the book. And we have the exercises. Then we have the language, the grammar book. So every class, we have two things. The book, the uh, we say the medical book, and some of the issues in the grammar book. Every class, we do two things. Then after that, we prepare you for the exams. It may be the midterm, the final, any exam. So we have uh, some mock tests so we can uh, share the ideas before, before you go to the exam. We have a revision, me and you. And then we can, uh, you can see uh, it's not going to be very, very difficult. Most of, most of you, uh, a big number of you passed the last exam. You were really good. But this time, we are going to focus on language more. Medical language and English language in general. Today, we are going to deal with uh, uh, unit number one, blood. This is unit one. And as you can see here, this unit starts talking about some of the important issues related 
to one of the most important parts of a human body, which is the blood. Of course, uh, the blood, we have some vocabulary uh, to deal with, uh, uh, with the blood. And of course, we are going to do some exercises. Okay, so you can have it on the chat. Yes, you can. This is my, uh, on the chat, you can. So the, the, the link of my telegram, thank you, Aya. So Aya put, she put the, uh, my uh, telegram link on the chat box. So you can see it. I, can, I think you can see it now. So it's on the chat box. Now let's start with the, um, with the class. As usual, we start with reading. And in reading, I'm going to start reading from here. So we are uh, going to start talking about Silverton Community Blood Bank. So it is the passage talks about a blood bank, this blood bank called Silverton Community. Yes, donor uh, introduction. So this is an introduction to the people who want to donate their blood. So donors mean um, the people who give their blood for free, of course, to help other people or other patients. Donor name, Ann Lee. Blood type, yes, uh, we say O negative. Dear donor, now this is like a letter. This is like, uh, uh, we say a, a letter to the donor. Her name is uh, Ann Lee. And this is a letter to her. Thank you for giving blood. Your blood may save the life of someone in need. So this is the introduction to the uh, letter. Thank you for giving blood. Your blood may save the life of someone in need. At CSBB, CSBB is the Silverton Community Blood Bank. So this is an abbreviation, short abbreviation for Silverton Community Blood Bank. We provide blood for transfusion, transfusions to needly uh, re recipients, okay? Not everyone can receive every type of blood. Each person's red blood cells carry different antibodies. We are always looking for donors with type O. Since everyone's blood is compatible with, with type O, if you are one of these, universal donors, we encourage you to donate blood frequently. Recipients with rare types like type B and type AB are especially in need of your help. Of course, we also accept type A since plenty of people can use that type too. Our on-site labs analyze each sample of plasma to ensure we are providing safe blood. We know that giving recipients the wrong type can cause blood clots. While some clotting is necessary to form platelets, clotting within blood vessels can be very dangerous. We also screen all donors for infectious diseases like hepatitis and HIV. So this letter, this is like a letter, to a blood donor. This is a letter. And thanking her about the, uh, the blood she gave. Okay. Um, and, uh, and of course they are giving her some instructions about the blood. So here you can see the, uh, the, the language is not very difficult. So we use here, I'm going just to show you something in here to make it a, a bit, bit big. So we can, you can see here, the language used is the present simple. Thank you, your blood may save. We provide, not everyone can receive. Each person's red blood carry different, carry. 
we are always looking for, okay? So blood is compatible. Yes, the internet is not really good. Okay, okay, just for your information, after I finish, after I finish this class, that class is going to be on YouTube. The lesson of today is going to be on YouTube. Okay, you, YouTube, so you can watch it anytime you like. Okay, yes. Okay, now, so we have here present simple. Of course, you also accept. Plenty of people can use labs analyze. We are providing, we know, we, we some, uh, while some is necessary, can be very dangerous. We also for screen, yes. So this is, okay, uh, uh, the, the, the internet, maybe your internet uh, is, not, is not good anyway. Uh, I can't fix it anyway. It's not fixing the internet. I can't fix the internet. It's your issue, guys. It's not my, I'm sorry, but yes, it's not my issue anyway. You should have a good internet connection. Okay, now let's do the reading questions. Let's see the, or do the reading questions. I'm sorry for the internet. I'm really sorry. I have my internet. It's not really good, but Allah Ghalib, this is what we have. Okay, now we have some uh, uh, general questions. What is the purpose of blood donation? So question number one, what is the purpose of blood donation? Of course, blood donation uh, is a very important issue and it is uh, extremely important for people who are in need. They have surgery or they have an accident maybe and they might uh, lose a lot of blood, so they need blood. So the donation, they need blood donation. What different blood types are there? We have different types, as you know, type A, type B, type O, most importantly, and type AB. Okay, and we have, of course, we have negative and positive. You know this, of course, more than me. This is not my subject specialist anyway, but I think you know this better than me. Now let's read Let's read, and I want you to answer the questions on the chat. Read here the donor information. Let me make it smaller a little bit so you can answer the questions. Okay, like this. Please make sure that your cameras are off. Make sure no cameras to be on. This class is recorded. Make sure that your camera is not working, okay? Because I'm recording this. So if you open your camera, uh, you'll be on, 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 on the desktop, which, is, which maybe you don't like. Okay, let's answer the question. Number one, donor and Lee, is a universal donor. What do you think? True, false, is, is Anne Lee, is she a universal donor? That means she can give? Yes, thank you, Sir Sabil, yes. Thanks, Sabir. Yes, so it is true. Lina, thank you. Also, Lina is correct. True. Yes, so donor only is a universal donor. This is true. Number two, the blood bank mostly needs donors with type B and AB. Yes, Sara, Salsabil, Lina, Ala. No, Ala, no. Unfortunately, this is F, false, because the blood bank, he says here,
Yes, because they want all the types. Okay, so he said we, look here, look here. We always, we are, all, look, we are always looking for donors with type O. So, O, no, not A, A or B. So this is wrong. Number three, donors risk clots in blood vessels when they give blood. So, donors, not recipients, donors, be careful. Donors, he said, the, we know that giving recipients the wrong type cause blood clots, so it's about recipients. He said donors and the question donors. So this is unfortunately false. So number one is true. Number two is false. And also number three is false. Now, we have now some vocabulary. So we have type O, compatible, type AB, transfusion, and universal. Uh, okay, I don't understand what do you think, Mr. Mkheyo. This is not your name. Could you give me your name, please? Your full name. Mkheyo, what's your name? Mkheyo, what, 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 is, what does that supposed to name? Is that Libyan or are you? I don't know. This is not your name for sure. I want you guys, when you come to the classroom, I want you to come with your real names. Uh, what's your name? Could you, could you please tell me what's your <laughs> name? This class is recorded. So you guys, you should have nice names. Okay, anyway. Your nickname. Okay. Now we do the, the, uh, the vocabulary. Number one, this man needs now or he'll bleed to death. Okay, Abdul Razak, okay. Thank you, Mr. Abdul Razak, thanks a lot. Now, number one, could you do please, guys, number one. This man needs, needs what? Type O, compatible, type AB, universal donor or transfusion. Yes, Aya and Lina, good. So it's transfusion. Number one is transfusion. Good. Now number two. It is okay to give type A blood to someone who has, it is good, it's okay to give type A to someone whose blood is what? Good, okay, all of you know this. So type AB, very good. Number three. The blood bank encourages every someone to donate as, yes, as often as possible. Number three, what's the answer? Not type O, no, no, no. Yes, good, Lina. Yes, Lina answered the question. And Aya answered the question. And Malak uh, and Marwa answer that question. So number three is, yes, and Hanin also. So this is universal donor, very good. Number four, if your blood is, you can give blood to anyone. Yes, this is easy. So it's type O.
Number, finally, the hospital doesn't have any blood. That is with the patient's blood. Yes, number one, yes, so it's compatible. Okay, so this is the end of the vocabulary. Now we have the next part is we have the next part we have this one here. <clears throat> Again, we have some vocabulary. We have some vocabulary. We have platelet. We have plasma, type A, red blood cell, type B, and clot. So something related to blood parts. You have to take it from the vocabulary. So blood parts, we have, yes, some people, yes, so very good, plasma and plasma. And red blood cells, very good. So red blood, blood cell and plasma. Okay, blood groups. Blood groups. So we have type A and B. A and B. Finally, stop blood loss the things that stop the blood. So we have the clot and we have platelet. Okay, just, I want to, uh, something from you. Okay, I want, I want to say something. Uh, I'm going to say this in Arabic. Uh, I'm going to say this in Arabic. حقولها بالعربية. أنا مس أنتم مسؤولين أمامي يا شباب على المنهاج المنهاج الذي موجود أمامكم. Okay. يعني الأسئلة اللي أنا بنحطها إن شاء الله في امتحان نصفي أو النهائي راح تكون من هذا المنهاج. فأرجو عدم وضع أي إجابة أخرى من معلوماتكم الشخصية. قد تكون معلوماتكم الشخصية صحيحة لا اعتراض على ذلك. لكن أنا ملزم بإعطاء المنهج والأسئلة من داخل المنهج من داخل يعني لا أستطيع أن أأتي من أي شيء حتى ربع سؤال من خارج المنهج فأرجو حتى لو كان عندكم معلومات خارجية إذا كانت المعلومة تتعارض مع المنهج فراح نمشي بالموديل آنسر مع المنهج اللي حصلت في امتحان النهائي العام اللي فات أو في السمستر اللي فات إنه في كانت معلومات عند الطلبة وهذه صحيح درستوها ممكن في الحصص الأخرى لكن I have to follow the textbook لأنه textbook عند الجميع فالكل متساوي بمعلومة textbook لا أستطيع أن أجيب حاجة من خارج المنهاج حتى ولو كانت صحيحة not no information or questions out of the textbook okay this is just an information thank you now, let's do the listening. listening. Now we are going to have some listening. Now, I want you to listen carefully. Then we are going to answer these questions. Everybody look at these questions, please. Here. This is the listening. And we have question number one and question number two. What is the conversation mainly about? So you have to listen and we are going to uh, uh, 
okay, okay. Um, guys, uh, if you can answer the question, it's okay. If you cannot answer the questions, it's okay too. يعني قصدي لا يعني حتى لو بعض الطلبة ما شاء الله سريعين في الكتابة لا يعني الآخرين أنهم سيئين إطلاقا. Don't think in this way. All of you are good, inshallah. All of you are excellent, mashallah, alaykum. So if you don't, if you can't type very fast, it's okay. لأنه, uh, simply, we don't have an electronic exam. يعني في النهاية راح يكون عندكم أسئلة على ورقة و answer sheet نقرون عليه الأجوبة. يعني مسألة الكتابة أسرع بالكمبيوتر وكذا it's not a big deal. So don't take it personally. لا أحد يتحسس. يعني if, if, if someone is faster than you, it's okay. شو المشكلة يعني؟ Okay. The, 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 the right thing or the final thing is inshallah to pass this material انه ننجح ونتعلم في نفس الوقت لغة language وهذا راح يكون اهم هدف عندي معكم انشاءالله للي يحب انه يطور لغته لغته مادة اللغة الانجليزية او مادة لن تكون صعبة عليكم وانتو كلكم مستواكم ممتاز ما شاء الله but the language is your problem من خبرتي Your, the language فحتحط برامج إضافية للي يحب للي يحب اللي عنده رغبة إنه يطور نفسه أو تطور نفسها راح يكون هناك برامج إضافية للتطوير الذاتي if you are interested وأنا أنظر لبعيد أنظر للمستقبل إن شاء الله تكملون دراستكم وتكملون اختصاصكم وعندما تسافرون حيكون عاقبكم الأول مش المعلومات no you're the first barrier the most Uh, difficulty you are going to face is the language, not the scientific information or knowledge. No, you are uh, going to be great doctors one day, inshallah. But the idea is how how to communicate. Okay. Now we are going to listen now. Now, and I want you to read the question. What is the conversation about? What's the main idea? Okay. And number two, who? is likely to receive the man's blood. We are going to listen two times, twice. Then after that, we are going to answer the question. Listen, please. Listen. Unit one, blood. Exercise five, page five. Donor blood type, type A. Eligible recipients. Type A, Type AB. Okay. Donor blood type, Type B. Ele okay, sorry, this is, uh, this is the, not the same listening. Just a minute. This is the conversation. Exercises 6 and 7, page 5. Okay, Mr. Lewis, we're almost done taking your blood. Hold still for a little longer. Sure. So where will my blood go? Our facility provides blood to local hospitals and surgical centres for transfusions. I see. So anyone might receive my blood. Not quite. Your blood is type A, which means that it's only compatible with other people who have types A and AB. We can't give your blood to someone with type O or B. Really? What happens if someone gets a transfusion with the wrong type? That can be very dangerous, or even fatal. Wow, so you have to be pretty careful about labelling, don't you? That's right. We keep very careful records here to make sure no one gets the wrong blood type. OK, let's listen again. Exercises 6 and 7, page 5. OK, Mr Lewis, we're almost done taking your blood. Hold still for a little longer. Sure. So where will my blood go? Our facility provides blood to local hospitals and surgical centres for transfusions. I see. So anyone might receive my blood. Not quite. Your blood is type A, which means that it's only compatible with other people who have types A and AB. We can't give your blood to someone with type O or B. Really? What happens if someone gets a transfusion with the wrong type? That can be very dangerous or even fatal. Wow, so you have to be pretty careful about labelling, don't you? That's right. We keep very careful records here to make sure no one gets the wrong blood type. 
Okay. So for question one, what is the conversation mainly about? A, receiving a blood transfusion, determining the man's blood type, explaining compatible blood types, and describing how play, uh, platelets form clots. So the answer is very good. It is C, explaining compatible blood types. Yes, number one. Number two, who is likely to receive the man's blood? Who? Recipients with type AB, recipients with type B, recipients with type O, or with any type? So the answer is A, very good, because he, she said recipients with type A and B, AB. Good. Now we have to listen again. Listen again and answer these questions. We have now listening again, and we are going to fill these questions here, the gaps. Okay. Now, let's do it again, and we answer the questions. Exercises six and seven, page five. Okay, Mr. Lewis, we're almost done taking your blood. Hold still for a little longer. Okay, so number one, number one, hold still. Hold still. Hold still means don't move. Don't, do not move. Okay, now let's finish the listening. Sure. So where will my blood go? Our facility provides blood to local hospitals and surgical centers for transfusions. Yes. And surgical, she said, our facility provides blood to, to local hospitals and surgical centers for, yes, transfusions. Yes, trans, transfusions. Number three. I see. So anyone might receive my blood. I see. So anyone. Anyone. Might. Anyone might receive. Good. Not quite. Your blood is type A, which means that it's only compatible with other people who have types A and AB. We can't give your blood to someone with type O or B. Really? So, we can't, we can't give your blood to uh, to someone with types o or b he said really what happens if someone gets a transfusion with the wrong type what happens if someone gets a transfusion with the, or with the wrong type? Wrong type, the wrong type. Yes, wrong type, good. And the last thing is. That can be very dangerous or even fatal. Wow, so you have to be pretty careful about labelling, don't you? That's right. We keep very careful records here to make sure no one gets the wrong blood type. Very dangerous.
Okay. Now I want to uh, say something. The most important thing in, in, in learning English language or any language is the listening. You have to listen every day for 30 minutes. You have 20 to 30 minutes. If, if you don't have time, if you are always busy, you don't have time, you can just listen for 20 minutes. Listening, we have input and we have output. So listening makes you perfect in English because the grammar is the same. Grammar, present, past, and future. So the present is the same, past is the same, and future is also the same. So the grammar doesn't change. The language changes. So please, every day, every day, if you are eating or if you are driving your car, just put or turn on the radio or put it on anything in English. Just listen, because the input makes your language perfect. So today we, we finished uh, talking about the blood. What do we have in blood? We have transfusions, we have blood clots, we have uh, platelets, we have type A, type B, type O. So the language, the vocabulary is not difficult, but how to link the vocabulary with language, this is your difficulty. Okay, now, um, Let's imagine a situation, uh, you are in a hospital and there is a patient and this patient is uh, English, American, New Zealand. Yes, a uh, thing you advise to listen to. Okay, we have programs, Hunaka Baramaj. Telegram. Telegram, 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 ولا أفضل أحد أن يضيع فلوسه على حاجات ممكن أن تتعلموها بأنفسكم فحخلي عليها برامج اللي هو 6 minute English في برنامج في قناة اسمها على ممكن تنزوها على الـ يعني الـ على الهاتف على النقال اللي هو BBC Learning English موجود هذا على الانترنت Learning English فبعد ما تفتح البي بي سي هناك برنامج اسمه 6 مينيت انجلش 6 مينيت انجلش هذا ال 6 مينيت انجلش برنامج رائع يتكلم عن حياتنا العادية اليومية ويتكلم عن مواضيع كثيرة كالسفر كالسياحة كمشاكل الطرق مشاكل الشباب العمل الأشياء اللي تواجهوها في حياتكم for 6 minutes يتكلم for 6 minutes الجميل مع 6 minute English it has a PDF يأتي ملف ملف PDF so you can read تستطيع أن تقرأ and you can listen okay if you don't like to read you can listen for this develops competence okay هناك باعتباركم أطباء وإن شاء الله هذا جزء من التعلم this is called neuro linguistics علم اللغة العصبي أو علم اللغة الدماغي قد في يوم واحد يكون يتخصص بالعصاب أو مجال العصاب يذكرني we have three stages. عندي ثلاث مراحل في التعلم في listening. ثلاث مراحل. وهذا الكلام تكلمت حتى في السمستر الماضي ما أعرف سمعتوا مني أو لا. المرحلة الأولى the first stage for four weeks. يسموها familiarity of topics. بعد ما تستمع كل يوم عشرين دقيقة بعد أربع سابع من الاستماع. The topics راح تكون familiar. ما هو the familiar? The grammar. The grammar راح يكون واضح. Is, am, are, was, where. Uh, shall, should, can, could كلها راح تكون الأفعال هذه نفسها لا تتغير بعد أربع سابيع راح تصبح تصبح nouns الأسماء والverbs الأفعال adjectives الصفات كلها familiar لك حتى لو لم تفهم المعنى even if you do not understand the meaning بهذا الشكل راح يكون عندك familiarity المرحلة الأولى المرحلة الثانية بعد الاستماع المستمر when you talk when you make a mistake you feel something is wrong حتى ان كنت في امتحان او في مقابله شفويه او في امتحان شفهي او شفوي او في محادثه يعني مع ناس اجانب when you make a mistake عندما تخطئ تحس ان هناك something is wrong هذا الشعور لانه الدماغ يعطيك علامه انه you did a mistake ليش؟ للاستماع المتكرر المتواصل يعطي سموها language competence أي لغة إدراكية تستدرك اللغة يعني تأخذ اللغة 
المرحلة الثالثة والأخيرة بعد برضو أربع أسابيع راح when you make a mistake you correct it عندما تخطأ هتحس أن هناك غلط وستصحح هذا الشيء صدقوني حياتكم المهنية بإذن الله طويلة حياتكم العلمية طويلة راح تتعاملون مع ملايين من المعلومات الطبية الله أعلم شنو حيكون في المستقبل but the language needed for this you have a problem عندكم مشكلة معه فنبدا بحلها احنا شنو خسرانين؟ listening every day 6 minute English برامج اخرى حضعها على الجروب على التليجرام و you can contact me through telegram then we can develop your language for free no money no money so you can develop yourselves for free وبعد سنتين ثلاثة تتخرجون ان شاء الله بعد كم سنة حتكونون جاهزين لمنحة حتحصلون منحة خارجية منحة طبية وهذه الحياة فرص فستجد العقبة العقبة الوحيدة أمامك is the language بس يعني فحرام واحد تجي فرصة لحد عنده تجي منحة تجي دراسة بعثة يطور مستوى يطور مستقبل علشان لغة شيء تافه يقول لك ما كنت يا ريتني درستها لما كنت في الجامعة ويا ريتني لما كنت صغيرة أخذتها But now we can do it for all. عدكم بإذن الله كان أحيانا الله English 3 معي إذا كان بقينا يعني مع English 3 هناك راح نتقدم أكثر نفس المنهج المنهج is easy ليس صعب المنهج لكن تتقدم باللغة أنا I want today I used Arabic اليوم ممكن اليوم الوحيد اللي تكلمت به وراح أتكلم به بالعربية باعتبار today is class one الدرس الأول But after that no Arabic because this is your your class And my job is to show you how language is used and how to develop your language skills. Now we are going to move to another part, which is grammar. Uh, I want to show you today the, we say, the grammar parts needed for this semester. حوضح المواضيع اللي أنتو مسؤولين عليها في هذا السمستر. يعني English 2, ما هي المواضيع؟ كيف ندرس المواضيع؟ شنو اللي خاشة في الامتحان نصفي أو نهائي؟ هذه راح تكون المواضيع بهذا الشكل. هذه راح تكون. خلينا نشيل. حدث من غير مايك أفضل. So this is the idea. راح يكون بهذا الشكل شغلنا مع بعض. فأول شيء the first thing نعرف ما هي المواضيع اللي خاشة في آه هذا ال ال الامتحان النصفي أو النهائي. فحتكون موضحة أمامكم هنا اللي هي كما موجودة هنا في الفهرس في في القائمة We have tenses أول شيء عندي هذه the tenses unit one unit two unit اليوم حنبدأ ممكن بunit one ونكمله إن شاء الله بهذا الشكل عندي the tenses هذه الأزمنة بعض الأزمنة عندي عندي موضوع آخر خلينا نشيل نعمل الكلير نمشي إلى بعض التنسز راح أتكلم مع الفيوتشر حناخذ موضوع الفيوتشر لكن ليس كل الفيوتشر بل حنتكلم الفرق ما بين ال will and going to واللي هو present Continuous. I'm. I'm. كيف نستخدمها للمضارع المستمر بهذا الشكل. And future continuous. يعني future حناخذ في موضوعين ممكن. مش يعني مش ال العبرة بالكثرة. العبرة بالفهم بالفهم اللي نحتاجه في لغتنا الطبية إن شاء الله. هذه for the future. وراح أنتقل إلى شيء أخير اللي هو حناخذ في في يونت لا لا احب ان اتقدم على طول يعني فحاخذ ممكن relative clauses اللي هي ممكن وحدتين فقط من هنا يعني لن تكون هناك جرامر معقد اطلاقا فrelative clauses هذا النوع من الجمل المركبه كنوعيه فقط لن اخذ كل الشابترز هذه لكن ان شاء الله اذا كان احيانا الله وصلنا الى انجلش 3 
راح يكون عندي يس ايضا اقترح عليكم انتم ان تدرسون الارتكلز الارتكلز اللي هي ادوات التعريف هذه سيلف ستدي حمر عليها انا طبعا لكن لازم تكونوا عندكم عندكم معلومه عليها يعني شنو سيلف ستدي شنو كيف نستخدم الا والان والذا والى اخره اشياء مش صعبه ليست صعبه لكن تتعارض مع اللغه العربيه يعني ان ان عربك واتس ذا ديفرنس بين رجل والرجل ان ان انجلش واتس ذا ديفرنس بين مان اور ا مان اون ذا مان فهناك بالاستخدام الفرق فتصبح صعبه هي ليست صعبه لكن باللسننج حتتعدل الامور فهذه سيلف ستدي ممكن مر عليها لمده 10 دقائق او كذا لكن ذيس از نوت ان ذا كلاس روم بت يو هاف تو ستدي الميزه مع هذا الكتاب إذا خلي نعمل ريفيجن خلي نعمل ريفيجن إعادة للأشياء اللي قلنا عليها الريفيجن الأول قلنا التنسز راح نأخذ التنسز الأزمنة كاملة حنبدأ من اليوم هذه الأزمنة الفيوتشر ممكن نأخذ درس أو درسين من الفيوتشر لأنه أريد فكرة الفيوتشر مش امتحان قواعد قواعد نو no. فكرة الفيوتشر هاو تو توك أباوت هاو تو يوز ذا بريزنت We talk about the future. وهذه إحدى خصائص اللغة الإنجليزية. We use the present simple tense. نستخدم المضارع البسيط. We talk about the future. هذا أيضا يقويكم في اللغة. إذا هذه. ثم عندي بعد ذلك موضوعين بسيطة في ال articles. قلنا ال articles هي عبارة عن دراسة self study. وأنا رأى أخذ موضوع بسيط من ال relative clauses. حناخذ وحده او وحدتين مش حكثر لان هم حدود خمس او ست وحدات لكن ام جو 1 تو الفكره هو بالاستخدام وليس بالكثره مش الكثره من اجل ان نمهدكم ان شاء الله الى انجليزي ثلاثه بحيث تكون عندكم لغه متكامله لغه فوق المتوسط ومتقدمه ان شاء الله تنفعكم في حياتكم الحاليه وحياتكم العلميه الناجحه باذن الله المستقبليه اوكي آه الكتاب هذا الكتاب لماذا انا اعطيته كبي دي اف لماذا اعطيت لكم اياه كبي دي اف راح نلقاه عند المصورين حننزله عند المصورين لكن البي دي اف يكون عندك كتاب كامل تستفيد منه يعني آه الكتاب هذا ميزته انه معاه الموديل انسرز يعني معاه في الكتاب في النهايه اذا نشوف نهايه الكتاب نمشي فيه للنهايه خلينا نشيل الكاميرا شويه شوفوا نهايه الكتاب مع الكي يعني كل الحلول موجودة في نهاية الكتاب هنا شوفوا هنا فعندي حنبدأ بيونت 1 مثلا من من اليونت من الوحدة رقم واحد إلى مثلا رقم عشرة هذا الكي الكي أنسر أنتم متعودين على مسألة الكي موجود هنا يونت 1 الأجوبة كاملة هنا <تصفيق> Unit 1, Unit 2, Unit 3, Unit 4 إلى آخره فأي طالب مثلا يحب يحل أو يطور نفسه أو طالبة تحب مثلا أحد يطور نفسه أو يقرأ مثلا خارج المنهاج خارج الأشياء اللي مطلوبة من عندكم من عندي مثلا يحب يطور نفسه من غير لكورس ولا يدفع ولا حاجة You can have the key answers in here هتشوفون الكتاب أنه كيف مصمم تصميم رائع To use the language إذا هذا الكتاب مع المنهاج مع ال 20 دقيقة كل يوم يو بي بيرفكت انتهينا السمستر وصفيتوا المواد ونجحتوا بإذن الله السمستر الثالث أو السنة الثانية أو الثالثة كيب ليسننج خلي يكون الليسننج عندكم مستمر يو لوز ناثينج لن تخسر شيء جاست ليسن والله صدقوني الانبوت عندنا مدخلين اند اوتبوت الدماغ سيأخذ اللغة ويعطيها بنفس الطريقة التي أخذت أعماركم أيضا ليست كبيرة في العشرينات so you have no problem with the language لو أعماركم في الستينات سبعينات you will have a problem with language learning a language but now you have no problem uh, الدماغ مستعد now let's start with unit 1 حنبدأ مع unit 1 okay so we have unit 1 present simple or present continuous. Number one, we use the present 
simple to describe things, to talk about facts, which are always true. So here, the present simple, we talk about things which are always true, or sometimes the situations that exist now. And as far as we know, will go on uh, indefinitely. So we talk about facts. Even present simple, it takes me five minutes to get to school. So if I ask you, how much time does it take you to go to college? So you say, well, it takes me one hour to get to college. It takes me, not it is taking me. It will take, no, no, it takes because it's a routine. And you have to understand one principle in language. It has the principle of economy. The principle of economy. In English, you don't use long sentences about situations which are really simple. If I ask you how much time it is going to take you uh, home every day, it is going to take you home. No. How much time does it take you home every day? Even here, maybe 15 minutes. We don't say, it takes me 50 minutes. No, it's a one hour, two hours, 30 minutes. So the answer is short. So the principle of economy, very direct, no further explanation. It's just direct questions and very short and direct answers. Well, you have the principle of economy. If you have a question, you have to ask a question and to extend and to talk in detail. That's a different story. But in general, language is or the principle of economy. So now uh, we have a present simple with the uh, routine things, with things that we do every day. The uh, trees grow more quickly in summer than in winter. So trees, subject is uh, uh, plural, al grow more quickly in summer. To talk about particular actions or events that have begun but haven't ended at time of speaking, at the time of speaking. The car isn't starting again. The car is not starting. So he's using now to talk about, we say, begun, the action started, so that there is a problem with the car. The car has a problem. Yes. Who are you phoning? Who are you phoning? I'm trying to get through to John. I'm trying to get through to John. Not I'm trying to call John. I'm, I'm trying to, no, to go through. Go through. Go through. John, no. So you have to take the language as it is. Well, I'm trying to go, yes, I'm trying to get through to Joan. Get through, so this is the language. Okay, so it's, yes, this is the way we do it. The shop is so inefficient that many customers are taking their business elsewhere. So the shop, there is a problem with the shop, is so inefficient, so bad, that many customers are taking their business elsewhere. Why present uh, continuous? Because it has started, the action started, not ended. يعني شنو معنى الجملة? 
the shop is so inefficient يعني هناك سوبر ماركت او دكان او محل لا يقدم خدمات جيده تعامله سيء مع الناس معنا تعامله سيء مع الناس من الماضي وفي الحاضر لم يغير شيء فمعناه هو سيء في الماضي وسيء في المضارع وسيبقى سيء في المستقبل فش كيف يكون الكلام على هذا الشيء we use present continuous I يقول the shop is so inefficient that many customers are taking their business elsewhere are taking يعني من العملاء أو الناس اللي الزباين يذهبون not the customers take their no are taking باعتبار الأكشن الذي سبب هذا الشيء كان المحل أو صاحب سيء في الماضي وسيء في المضارع وحيبقى سيء في المستقبل فيحتاج إلى أنه نطلع حركة حركة أنه they are taking I'm trying to get through to John لأنه قاعد أتصل بي أتصل بالتليفون أكلم أتكلم وهو ممكن مجهول 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 يقول لك مثلا Who are you phoning انتبه عليك الشخص Who are you calling فتقول لي I'm trying ليش لأنت حاولت قبل دقيقة ولسه تحاول وحتبقى تحاول فمستمر الأكشن هتستخدم مع مضارع مستمر I'm, I'm trying Not I try, I'm trying to get through to John. Okay, اللي بعدها. We often use time expressions like at the moment, at present, currently, just and still to emphasize that the action or event is happening now. مع المضارع المستمر نحتاج الظروف الزمانية اللي هي تشرح الزمان تشرح الزمن اللي إحنا فيه حاليا. اللي هو مثلا at the moment at present currently just still اذا هنا مثلا if I say um, if I say uh, I am talking to you now you are listening to me currently uh, uh, you are still listening to my class so here we have continuous and these are we say language they, they, they give meaning to language كل ما اللغة المعنى قصير أن تعطي معنى إضافي اللي هو at the moment it means now so that's the, the beauty of the language هذه جمالية اللغة okay فإذا شوف اللي بعدها have you done the shopping have you done The shopping. I'm just going. Have you done? بدل ما يقول I'm going. أنا ماشي. لا. I'm just going. توه ماشي. توه. Now I'm just going. Notice that the action or event may not be going on at time of the at the time of speaking. The police are talking to a number of people about the robbery. Okay. We use the present continuous. When we say the time being, يعني مثلا واحد يسألك يوم جمعة مثلا يوم جمعة تتغدون مع بعض it's Friday and you are having lunch. يسألك سؤال what are you doing these days or what are you doing now? You are having lunch. أنت تتناول غداء لكن لا يقصد هو الآن الغداء لكن أيامك هذه شنو برامجك شنو برنامجك شنو مشاريعك واحد يقول له well I'm studying at the third semester. I'm, st I'm in the fourth year. I am studying medicine. أنا أدرس الطب. مش يوم الجمعة. لكن we say at that time بهذا الشكل. فنستخدم ال ing. لماذا؟ لأنه الأكشن صحيح هو جمعة، صحيح هو عطلة، صحيح هو الجامعة مسكرة. لكن الأكشن الكبير مستمر اللي هو أنت تدرس. I am studying. Yes, it is holiday. It is a Friday. But in general, I am still, still studying. Okay, the police, شوف الجملة. The police are talking to a number of people about the robbery. Okay, someone stole something. Now, number C. We use the present simple to talk about habits or things that happen on a regular basis. 
regular it means routine something routine i leave work at 5 30 most days each july we go to turkey every year for example we fast in ramadan or in ramadan we fast however when we describe repeated actions or events that are happening at or around the time of speaking we use the present continuous why are you jumping up and down why are you running يعني واحد يشوف شخص يتحرك why are you running who are you talking to who are you talking in هناك action okay I'm hearing a lot of good reports about your work these days. We can use the present continuous or the present simple to, to describe something that we regularly do at a particular time. For example, we usually watch the news on TV at nine. We start watching at nine. We are usually watching the news on TV at nine. We we are usually we are already watching it. Then هنا في فرق ما بين الأولى والثانية. هذه we start watching. هذه fact. We are already watching. هذه action. اللي هو now. إذا نتكلم عن الحقيقة أي حقيقة أي حقيقة أي روتين. Present simple, مضارع بسيط. Any action, أي شيء خش في الأكشن يتحرك, we use present continuous. Okay, let's clear this. شوفوا هنا الملخص في دي, آخر حاجة راح تكون في دي. We use the present continuous هنا. Continuous to simply that situation is or may be temporary. مؤقت لأنه الحركة مؤقتة. Banks lend money to make profits. This is what usually happens. إذا هذه fact. Banks lend money to to make profits. ال ال البلوك تقرض المال من أجل الفوائد أو ال profits تحقق فائدة. Banks are lending more money. معناها these days. معناها هناك action. To encourage businesses to expand. يعني ممكن الآن في هذه الأيام هذه الأيام الآن في هذه الأيام المصارف تعطي قروض من أجل أن تشجع الأعمال. إذا هناك fact present simple. Action present continuous. خلينا نشوف اللي بعده. اوكي. Okay. إذا عندي بعض الأفعال اللي هي تأتي عادة مع نوعية محددة من الأفعال. اللي هي الفعل admit. I admit أعترف. إذا هنا admission اعتراف بالشيء عادة في المضارع. I admit I can't see as well I uh, used to. I admit. إذن هنا they perform the action. إذن هنا اللي الفت الفعل اللي هو أول واحد منهم admit يعترف. I refuse ويرفض بهذا الشكل. وعندنا أفعال أخرى بنفس الأشياء اللي هي accept, يقبل, acknowledge, معنا يعلم, advise, ينصح, apologize. يعتذر assume يفترض deny deny uh, ينكر yes guarantee يضمن hope inform predict يتنبأ promise يعد recommend يوصي suggest يقترح suppose يفترض و warn uh, يحذر هذه كل أفعال تقريبا تأتي مع مع بعدها فعل يعني مثلا uh, I refuse بعد ما تقول كلمة I refuse ترفض refuse what؟ فيحتاج إلى action I refuse to believe that uh, he is the uh, I, I refuse to believe that he didn't 
no, uh, the car was stolen. And I'm at la arfuz and usadduk in hula yalam an is sariq. In a refuse, tahtaj baata shay. I hope, aamul, hope, what come on, Judahuna, that you pass the exam. Aamul and tashtazul imtihanat. Yes, I predict, ana, atanabba, the weather is getting uh, more hot. Then, or is getting hotter. Then I predict at an upper and no Joe say yes one. Then at an upper, I touch by the action. Deny or for something action recommend. Yeah, I need to see something. Okay, we have some exercises and the Bible. The Tamarine the basic part is a sava. Rahan Hill Minad Hamajmoa. Why he be had a shaker. الذي سيأتيكم بإذن الله في الامتحان اللي هو خلنا نأخذ تمرين نأخذ تمرين أسهل نأخذ تمرين اللي هي عندنا خلنا نأخذ تمرين واضح شوية في الوضوح هذا هو هنا عندي عندي كلمات خارج البوكس box يعني هنا I have some exercises هذا التمرين one two ممكن تعملون التمرين الأول والحل موجود في نهاية الكتاب yes إذا عندي A to E عندي هنا number one two three four five عندي كلمات نخليها من ال من هذا البوكس من هنا من هذا المكان she is only just recovering from the operation and is still finding it difficult to move about. Okay, just look at number one. Umbruli la number one. How to hello number two of one. How to. Thumma han hilha ma baadma. Okay, let's do it. What is that you well in your job? What I is that you well? What I Is that you well in your job? What I say, yes, is that you that you yes, what well, that you do or that you are doing so that you do well or that you are doing well in your job really really i tell you i am telling you I am telling you the truth. Not I telling, I am telling you the truth. I am telling. Three. I'll do everything I can. Okay, I promise. 
I'll do everything I can. Although I, although I suggest that you also advertise in the local newspaper. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to stop in here. راح أتوقف هنا. I'm going to stop in here. سنتوقف هنا. Okay. And you can have a look. الأمثلة. مرة ثانية الأمثلة اللي جاءت هنا في الفيرس بيج في الفيرس بيج هنا في اللي جت في في يونت 1 في البداية and all we have all the rules are here so this is very important so everything in this page this is what we have for the present simple and present continuous. Anyway, uh, thank you for your coming. And I will say that, inshallah, سنستمر في اليوم لأنه كان يوم أول وشوية لسه المواعيد ملخبطة ولسه في طلبة عندهم يعني ممكن احتمال ليس عندهم علم بالتوقيت أو كذا. لكن إن شاء الله راح تنتظم الأمور مع مندوبي الدفعات بإذن الله. Well, we can do communicate through Telegram. مع Telegram راح يكون عندكم وراح ينزل الرابط على اليوتيوب بإذن الله تحصى بعد ما أكملها وجمعها وتحميلها على اليوتيوب راح يكون عندكم الرابط موجود. إذا كل شيء الذي أحب أن أكرره وأفهمه للجميع. Please, we have no extra information. المنهج الموجود فقط الذي ستحاسبون عليه. رقم واحد اثنين أي شيء تسمعوه سمعت قال قالوا لنا فلانة قالت فلان نو 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 direct communication with me أي أحد عندكم قناة تليجرام تضعون عليه أي سؤال أي شيء القناة مفتوحة لا يوجد أسرار ولا يوجد أشياء صعبة إطلاقا so my job is to help you to develop your language and إن شاء الله in the future to have a very bright we say career أن يكون مستقبلكم باهر خصوصا بما يخص اللغه الانجليزيه هي الوحيده اللي حتكون عقده مشكلتها لانه انتم الان لاهين بالباطنه وبالهستولوجيا حياه دقيقه والكذا لكن اللغه هي حتطلع لكم بالاخير في نهايه المطاف فنحلها من الان وي ساي وانس اند فور اول اند ايفري وان ويل بي ويل بي هابي ات ذا اند اوف ذيس كورس ثانك يو فور يور كامينج شكرا على حضوركم اند اي وش you enjoyed inshallah stamta'tu wa ta'allamtu bi nafis al waqt thank you for your coming and see you inshallah next week ma'a salam idha 'adkum ay sual ahad inda ay sual mumkin yitrah ala al chat yes inshallah okay idha la yujad shay idha nshufkum ala khair inshallah see you next week ma'a salam